true love. True love is a sacred flame that burns eternally, and none can dim its special glow or change its destiny. True love speaks in tender tones and hears with gentle ears. True love gives with open heart, and true love conquers fear. True love makes no harsh demands, it neither rules nor binds, and true love holds with gentle hands the hearts that it entwines. Steph and Jeff met seven years ago at an 80s theme party. After the party, Steph came home and told me that she met this really cute guy with red hair. I think the red hair pretty much sealed the deal for Steph. But I knew for sure that Jeff was a keeper when on their first date, he figured out the way to her heart was through her stomach, buying, <laughs> buying her a box of her favorite cookies. And over the years, Jeff continued to win Steph's heart through food-related dates, the most extreme being their spaghetti challenge at Pizza Hut. They each ordered and finished a family meal for four. Watching you two together, it's clear that not only do you share a love of food, but you share a deep love for each other. The Beatles once said, all you need is love. And if this is true, you two really do have it all. I just want to wish you both all the happiness and life and love together. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you two on your new adventure. So ladies and gentlemen, if we can lift our glasses, toast to the new couple, to a life of love and happiness together. Steph and Jeff. <laughs> Since moving back to London after university, I've had the chance to get to know Steph much better. And I'm lucky for the past years to call her a good friend. I also cannot think of a better life partner for my bestie, Jeff, than the beautiful Steph. You guys are great together. You have a quality that many couples lack, a mutual respect for each other that I call balance. You truly balance each other out and we all know that you will be extremely happy together for the rest of your lives. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey and Stephanie. I come from a family of three brothers, but today I am pleased to say I officially have three sisters too. Thanks to you, Steph, I no longer feel outnumbered by boys, and I have gained another incredible sister. And you are gaining an equally incredible husband. Over the years, Jeff has challenged me and maddened me, but I know I speak on behalf of both of my amazing parents when I say we could not have to be prouder of the man you have become. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, laughter, family, and love. Welcome to the family, Steph. Get ready for the nut jokes, because they're coming. <laughs> I take the full credit for them meeting each other. Yeah, it was at our lovely friend Jess's house that I was invited to a party to play a game called Flip Cup and another game called Soda Pong. I'm replacing some words in this. <laughs> so I needed a soda chugging partner for this game and I asked if I could bring one of my friends Knowing Jeff, he really he's kind of shy sometimes. He doesn't really know anyone. So he asked, like, what's this going to be like? I was like, don't worry, there's a cute girl there for you. He listened to me and he came. And he locked eyes with Steph from the moment he walked in the door. And we stopped singing the final countdown by Euro. In the door with a case of soda. <laughs> so the whole night they were all talking together. 
he told me, this is a girl. I love this girl. Obviously, he had too much soda, and I was just thinking he's talking gibberish. <laughs> but seven years later, here they are sitting at a table together. A few months after that, uh, Jeff texted me, and he said, Brian, this is the girl. And the only thing I could say to him was, you made a good choice. Do what you need to do. Just don't mess it up, please. Over the past seven years, you've all in some way helped make our relationship what it is today. And we're so happy to have such wonderful family and friends celebrating with us. To my best man, Brian, without you, I would never have met my beautiful wife, and I can now save life. That's awesome. I guess it pays to have a drinking buddy as cool as you. Thank you. Now as a bride, I like to say that I did all of this myself, but that would not be true. My amazing parents had a lot to do with what you see here today. You worked so hard and put so much effort into making this day perfect for us, and it's been more than perfection. We both thank you very much. From you guys, I learned that marriage is about forgiveness and patience, being together through the good times and never giving up through the bad. I hope that Jeff, what Jeff and I have is just as special. To Steph, my beautiful bride, thank you. Thank you for being there for when I need, being there for me when I needed you the most and for when I haven't really needed you at all. Honestly, you're always around. <laughs> it's a good thing though, it's a really good thing. From the night we met at a house party dressed in 80s attire, I was wearing a lime green shirt tucked into white pants with white loafers and aviators. I looked really awesome. You were wearing a skirt over top of tights. That's all that I remember. <laughs> it was some really good soda. <laughs> but from that night to this moment here tonight, I have known that you were the one for me. I love you with all my heart and can't wait for what the future has to offer. And to my husband, Jeff, thank you for your love, friendship, and the joy that you have brought into my life. I look forward to our life together. And as cheesy as it sounds, marrying you today has been the happiest.